In the first episode, I introduced an app called Dream Grid Maker and I also provided some steps and some tips on how to draw your outlines for your portraits. And also, in the second episode, I shaded the air of this portrait. And now, in the third episode, which is the last episode, I'm going to shade the remaining parts of the portrait, which is the eyebrow, the face, the nose, and the skin. I decided to use the soft charcoal pencil for the eyes because I know that charcoal pencil has more dark value than the graphite pencil. Graphite pencils really dealt with me when doing this portrait because I do not like graphite pencils but I wanted to see if I could create a masterpiece with them. No offense though but I've seen artists, some good artists that have done great masterpieces using graphite pencils that have created some hyper realistic drawings using graphite pencils. Well I'm not that of a guru when using graphite pencils but in this video, I'm going to show you the mistakes that I've made using graphite pencils. You know, I've made mistakes in doing this drawing. Not everything that you see an artist do is perfect. There are some imperfections and those things are part of the drawing. They are what makes, they are what tell the stories behind the drawing. And I also want you to learn some things from my mistakes in this drawing or in this video rather. Now, if you noticed, I shaded the corners of the eyes using the dry brush, which turned out smooth. And you can see the forehead, I shaded the forehead using the pencil before I blended it, which came out rough in a way. So I think blending with dry brush would have been better. And that was the first mistake. You can see in this other video, I use a charcoal powder and a dry brush to blend the air instead of using the pencil to go right in. And then I use the charcoal pencils to shade the eyebrow. Now moving on to the second eye, I applied the same method I used for the first eye. How do I love the depth that the eyes are giving right now? This only can happen when you follow the principles of 3D. The 3D dimensions which are the light, the mid-tones and the shadow. If you follow the principle well, you will get good looking portraits. Before you start your drawing, the three things you should consider is one, your reference photo. The second, your drawing material, which is the paper and the pencils or the mediums you are going to use. For this drawing, the paper I chose was wrong for this type of drawing or rather for this type of pencil because I've been using this paper for some of the charcoal drawings that I've been making and they are very, very good. But for these pencils, graphite pencils, they are giving me these kind of results which aren't pleasant at all. So I think for this piece, these graphite pencils are not right for this paper and this paper are not right for this pencil. I thought this left corner face was losing some dark values so I decided to add some values which made the face to look somehow because it was very difficult for me to blend 
that's why i say this paper and these pencils are glued to each other because most times that i've used it for charcoal pencils they do blend well but for these graphites they are a different case and the easy trick i did here was to fill in the areas the mid-tones and the shadow areas that i'm seeing in the reference photo now this allows me to focus on one thing or the other now after doing this i will now have to blend the whole thing using tissue paper tissue paper blends bigger areas faster than using a blend stop or other blending materials now after that i go in again with the 8b pencils to give the drawing that depth by creating shadows around the neck and the shoulder now to blend the skin was very difficult like i said before to blend this paper is very hard precisely to blend graphite pencils on this paper are very hard to do and the last thing i like to do is to tweak things around like going back and forth using my eraser to erase those parts those highlights that have been covered with the graphite as this video is coming to an end, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Now, it's time for the review.